Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. The Bengals continue to move through the season and want to find a way to secure win number three on the year. It's the Dolphins going up against the Bengals. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Miami Dolphins and the Cincinnati Bengals. This is Williams, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. They run it again with Williams. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Now that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Taken in at the 22. Kaiser now to throw on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Yeah, he is leveled. Knocked down hard. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. First and ten, Kaiser. Going right side here, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Kaiser on first down. Flush to his right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Lawrence Timmons able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. 
Second down now after the sack. From the gun, Kaiser. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Now a first carry from Giovanni Bernard. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? And not the prettiest kick he'll ever have as this one just does manage to stay inside the right upright and creep over the crossbar. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. To the main field goal. Here's Adam Vinatieri to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but... When you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to them, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Now Tannehill, it's complete to Parker, left side. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Tannehill with a hook up to Parker for the Dolphin first. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Now a play fake here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. It's caught, Stills, right side. That goes for a gain of 31. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. The first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from the Motor City. It's the Lions that have grabbed the early lead. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. The throw on second down is Tannehill. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. From the red zone now, Tannehill. That is caught inside the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. So now it's first and goal. Hey, hey, hey. 
They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Williams will try again. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Damian Williams, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are going to take a first-quarter lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. This one taken from the seventh. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. So the offense looking at a second and eight. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. stay on the ground mixing again and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34 yard line give him three on the run there now they're looking at a third and about five partner we know today's nfl is really built around the guy throwing the football but these short runs they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along you control the clock you control the ball and that way you often control the game Kaiser from the gun on third. Hard throw, incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. The Bengals bring out their punter now. The dangerous Jarvis Landry back for Miami. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Dolphins' offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing on third down, Tannehill trying to lay one up deep. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 
And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. A big play, Tannehill to Parker, 45 yards. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Again, it's Williams, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, here's Williams. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. A give to Williams, running right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. The tight end, Julius Thomas, the intended target, and now it's second down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. On second down, Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. into his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. An NFL update, second quarter now in Jacksonville. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. First down, Kaiser. Quick hitter here, it's complete. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there. And even 90 yards. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Terry out there to kick this one away. This will be taken short. Now a hit and a loose football. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. How many times in the course of a game do you talk about momentum plays? And I think we just saw one there. Absolutely. Just scored, right? Just took the lead. Just took the lead, went downfield, got the ball free again and picked it up. They've got a chance to really get the momentum on their side now. And yeah, now they'll try to pile on. A first down throw for Kaiser. 
Steps away to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. To throw is Kaiser. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Eifert, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Whoa, what happened there? No good. Off the crossbar, and it comes back. A very poor effort from PAT distance. Terry out there to kick this one away. Here's Jarvis Landry now on the return. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Second down, here's Tannehill. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. They'll run it with Williams. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now Tannehill on third and goal. Got a man. It's Landry for the Dolphins' touchdown. Jarvis Landry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. Now for the point after. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he's got some space here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That good for 19 at a first down. I've yet to meet a wide receiver who likes to block more than catching the football. But the best ones understand that that's how they'll actually get more passes thrown to them if they help in the run game. And anytime you get a run of that yardage, that means the wide receivers did help. They get down to what a lot of people call the second level. The linebackers are the third level where the defensive backs are. And they get out in front and put their bodies out there and create more space for their runners to gain the yardage. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. An NFL update, second quarter now in Jacksonville. The gap's getting wider there. The Saints have scored again. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. drop him and it'll be a loss of about eight they'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left they'll bring the tight end in motion right They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On the toss, Mixon. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds, getting it across the 25. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And it'll be third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them. And now, instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. The Bengals bring out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Able to fight through one tackle. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> and the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. And on second and ten now. Here's Tannehill. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. Partner, I know the ball security is preached like crazy, but every now and then you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do if it was third and ten versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. 
Back to throw, Tannehill, flushed out right. And this is going to be incomplete. Man, there's a lot to think about when you're playing quarterback, isn't there? I mean, this is third and long. So your chances of completing a pass for a first down are slim to begin with. And then when you put it into some traffic, you're really wreaking havoc with your options, aren't you? Maybe you just got to heave it into the, you know, throw it up in the stands and make sure no one can catch it. He'll field this at the five. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? Now a second down throw for Kaiser. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Lawrence Timmons from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Here's Bernard. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing him further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And out come the Dolphins now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And an alley to run. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Williams. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Tannehill going to throw on third and one. And it's caught by Parker. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Now Tannehill eluding the pressure right. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Right. 
Tannehill on third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Back now in Cincinnati. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Parker. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of six there on first. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. pistol here's Williams and he's gonna get this inside the 30 a 10-yard pickup and it's enough for a Dolphins first down well partner I know this type of running back I mean this size this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on I can just tell you from experience the first few quarters oh, you're eager you come running up there I'm gonna tackle this guy by the fourth quarter you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Deep, deep. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism. They created some nice space for him. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. And this is caught. He hits Landry. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Tannehill to Landry. Good for a Dolphin first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to get this one back. So it is a first down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Damian Williams with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point attempt to come here. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And out now, here come the Bengals. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well. else. 
is. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and do something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now they run with Mixon, and he's got room. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the fourth. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Now Kaiser, under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one, you want to make it a field goal difference if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got both defense down the stretch. Yeah, not much margin for error now for your D. They just have to get it into range. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. <laughs> And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him three on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. So where would all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Come on, let's go. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Following the interception, Kaiser is to the clock and at the five. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Tyler Eifert with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go.
Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Now a desperation throw, deep downfield. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. They give it to Williams, running right. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. It's caught at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Damian Williams, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And the Dolphins are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. So now a big play here as the Dolphins will go for the two. They're going to try and run for it. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This one taken from the seventh. Yeah, nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. Right, they'll have to be careful how they handle this. Kaiser to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A good pick up there, a 22. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now Mixon finds a seam inside the 40. And some space here. And cuts out right side. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown. Late in the game, they look like they're in control. But still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? 
Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. And they're going to go soft on the corners. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack, although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you're facing an intentional grounding call. Back to throw. And Stills over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll look to throw. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Yes, sir. That touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something. Forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now? Have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And set for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one, 28 yards on the ground. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. First throw in overtime for Tannehill. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts them in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want six. Well, you, with these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. Fresh set of downs here. This is Williams. 
And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Tannehill now on second down. They lost four there, and it's third down. Third and long, it's Tannehill. And he finds Stills, complete. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, Keep giving it to him. That tells me you're mature as a play caller, and it's working for them in overtime. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he is in for the score. Absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime. A little whipped cream on top. Look at you. Trying to make this whole thing pound. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Dolphins, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants.